Hello everybody, this is uh, Greg Niemczuk, concert pianist uh, from Poland and today I want to talk um, about a very important thing which is uh, stage fright and um, being nervous um, on stage, being nervous um, while playing in public, something that uh, probably all of you uh, experienced uh, if you are a performing um, musician and well we all experienced that and I think we all try to find some kind of way some kind of solution of um, how to solve this problem uh, especially how to solve the fact that uh, we play in public worse than at home, that we play for somebody much worse than we play for ourselves. Um, that's a kind of normal thing um, because of how the brain works um, and how the memory works, especially when we are talking about the presentation from memory. So I am lucky, I must say, because I I am not nervous before my concerts. I am not nervous during my concerts. I just feel a huge pleasure performing and I am just the happiest man on earth before the concert, on the day of the concert, during the concert. I don't want the concert to finish. I want it to last forever um, and that's why I'm doing that. I don't, I can't imagine myself um, suffering uh, from uh, being nervous and I couldn't sleep, couldn't eat or or I don't know what else uh, before every concert and uh, especially if I sometimes have concert tours that I have concerts every day or every second day this would be impossible I would definitely change my profession um, and find something that just gives me fun and pleasure because I think that's what makes our life happy when we do what we love. So, but I wouldn't call this purely being lucky because I was not born with that. Of course, I also was nervous as a student, um, first high school student, then the university student, but the older I got, the worse it became. So about, I don't know, when my, I was maybe 20, 21 years old, uh, after one concert that I was so nervous and it was not very good and I came back home so depressed and down that I just looked in the mirror, looked at myself and I said to myself, you have to do something about it. Either you do something about it or you change the profession. If you want to be a concert pianist, if you want to play for people and I wanted to because I love music, you have to change something. So I started to experiment. And um, after some time, I found my own way, which now I want to share with uh, all of you who have the same problem. So I will share you my own per uh, personal experience and how I overcame this problem. First of all, I asked myself a question, what am I really afraid of? And I think all of you have to sit down calmly, imagine yourself performing in public and ask a question, what are you really afraid of? What is the first thing that you are nervous about, that you are afraid? And there are a few things, but the most important thing was a memory, actually. I was always afraid that I forgot something. I was always afraid that it's not uh, prepared. And here comes the first very important thing to get rid of a stage fright. We have to be prepared. But prepared in the sense like you have to know the piece or pieces that you're going to play 100%. You have to be sure. How to do it? Well, you have to be able to write down all the notes of the piece that you are going to play. You have to have it inside your brain. You have to be able to play each hand separately from memory, from the beginning to the end. And 
without any memory slips. You have to be able to play the whole piece half speed. Um, and this is the most important thing because, look, if you are secure, if you are self-confident, if you know that you know what you are going to play, then you are not so nervous. Imagine, I always say that to my students, imagine that you have to go on stage, there is 1000 people sitting, and all you have to do is you have to go, you have to bow, take the applause, then take the mic, and then say to the people, uh, good evening, my name is, and then you say your name. And then bow again, people clap, and then you go back. Would you be nervous? Well, maybe a little because of the crowd, but certainly uh, I don't think you would be that nervous because you simply know your name. So that's kind of impossible to forget the name or to, to, to just, you know, you are just sure about what you want to say. And now the idea is you have to know the piece as well as you know your name. How to do it? Mental practicing. I will make another video about it. Uh, practicing hands separately. Checking out the memory. The day before the concert, always play every hand separately. Be sure that you know every single bar. Play also in half speed. Play the piece in the tempo uh, one, one note per second. Like an extremely slow tempo. If you know left hand especially and right hand, this is something that you know. Of course, you have to play it through many times. Um, the idea is that when you are on stage, when you sit and you just before playing, you have to have the feeling, I know this music. Um, so do everything you can to be sure. That's a very important thing, but not, not the only one. Also, play it for your friends. Play it for somebody. Record yourself. This is also uh, a, a very different from just practicing, just playing for yourself. Play it in a few different rooms, if you can, on two di a few different pianos. Um, make some live streaming. Uh, that also makes you nervous uh, on, the, on, on some social media or something, just to play in this. Everything is important. Um, you can make mistakes when you play for friends, when you play, when you record yourself, when you live stream. Uh, this is allowed and then you, we have to learn from those mistakes. But after that on the concert, then it's better not to make them, right? And now that's not everything because we also need uh, the special attitude. And now I will sh tell you my attitude. So the first attitude that we have to um, know, have to have is that we have to forget that people are judging us. Of course, when you have exam, you have the, the jury who gives you points, right? They listen to your mistakes. They listen to something that they don't like. They listen to uh, uh, everything bad you do. And But you have to try to forget about it. You have to always focus on beauty of the music. Don't think about... Uh, that anybody is judging you and don't compare yourself to others. Um, just you practice at home, you prepared the best version of the music that you prepared. Probably you, you love this music. You should like, you should love your own interpretation. You should fall in love with your interpretation, how you play. And then you just share it to uh, the audience. So the attitude should be that you Go on stage and you give a gift to people. And then when you give these gifts to people, you feel happiness. You, you know, before the concert, it should be like, I can't wait to share with people my interpretation of this beautiful music. And also when you practice, you should focus on the most favorite parts or things that you can do beautifully or, or how you can impress uh, the people, the audience. And then when you play, you just should focus on this. And go on stage with a little smile, 
inside yourself that will also calm you down and breathe uh, deeply and slowly and calmly and this um, when you sit down on the piano this should help you a lot a few uh, very slow breaths and this thinking that now I am going to show you the beauty of the music that I prepared then you think about this oh I know it I can play it I know every single note there is nothing that can happen badly and then you start to play um, so this is my experience and it works for me and I played nearly 500 concerts maybe uh, in public and and I just I had so much fun in every concert of course not every concert always goes the way we want but I I realized one very important thing you know when you when you go on stage and you play with the feeling and motivation that you are giving 100 percent that you give all yourself you do it the best you can then even when something happens it's not your fault anymore um, you know you go off the stage after the concert and you tell to yourself I gave the maximum I gave 100 percent of myself this is the maximum that I could give in this day, in this hour, at this time, at this health condition, and this brain condition, and so on. So, I hope this video is helpful. Please let me know if that's something new for you, if that's helpful for you. And I'm, I'm very curious of what your experience also um, on performing for people let's have a discussion uh, under this video thank you very much good luck and have fun performing in public bye bye